Hey there, this is Toasty Fresh, and uh, welcome to my very first Football Manager 2014 playthrough. And uh, today I'm going to be doing what uh, all good Football Manager fans and football fans in general do uh, when they get this game, is uh, play through as the team that I support, which is uh, Burnley Football Club, currently residing in the Skybet Championship. And uh, the aim of the game uh, for me t uh, on this playthrough is just to do as well as I can with Burnley, hopefully it's promotion, that's what I've aimed for this season, I'm going to try and emulate the success that we're currently having uh, in real life under Sean Dash and uh, the old Ginger Mourinho, he's set me a tough task, uh, he's given me some big shoes to fill, uh, who was currently lying uh, there in second, because uh, that's ex it's exceeded uh, wildly what we thought we were going to achieve this season, I uh, don't know about you guys, but um, that's our view on it, and uh, long may it continue. But uh, he's just proving to be a great manager for us. Uh, I know the Watford fans were sorry to see him go, I think. Uh, they thought he was a bit hard done to, and he's sort of proving that now with us. Anyway, uh, just before I start the story as well, I'd just like to get um, to know you, the viewers, a little bit more. So if you could tell me, you know, in the comments section below, which uh, football team you support, you know, let's try and find out who, who the viewers are, and maybe get a bit of banter going as well, you know, in the comment section uh, between the fans, you know, everybody's welcome to come and watch, you know, even the uh, Bassa Rovers fans, you know, I don't mind if you come, you know, you could just come to watch, uh, see me, uh, hopefully, for you guys, you'll see me fall flat on my face, but uh, hopefully for me, I'm going to see us do well. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'll just, I'm not going to beg for likes or anything like that. I'll just get on with the game. But uh, just it'd be good to have a few comments, have something going, um, as well as just watching this video. But uh, into the action, I'll just uh, give you a quick lowdown because I don't want to bore you with Burnley's life story. You know, some of you will have a general idea of who Burnley is. And the rest of you, as we go on, I can fill you in on a few things. But uh, I'll just show you roughly what I've got to deal with. And uh, the budget there, I'll just start with the budget. That's uh, 301,000, well, what I've got left. I started off with 650,000 pound a week uh, wage budget. And uh, I mean transfer budget and a wage budget of 162,000 pound a week, which the leeway I got, basically what I got to spend is I got 650,000 to spend and about 20,000 uh, spare because I decided I, uh, I'm going to go for broke I went for promotion I didn't dare push it all the way to title challenge you know I'm, on this game on paper Burnley aren't as strong as a lot of teams in the league probably I haven't really given it a really good look at everybody like I said uh, this is my very first playthrough my very first uh, full season the only experience I've had of this game actually is a quick look on the demo and then uh, pre-season so that's about it but on paper I don't think we're the best team we've been predicted to finish 10th so I'll just go over things I haven't really changed much uh, the staff are all basically the same I've kept the staff Ian Warren as assistant manager and Terry Laughlin and uh, Billy Mercer Craig Moss uh, Moss and they're all the the uh, backroom staff that were already there I'm bringing in two others which I can just show you very quickly. I'm bringing in Huey McCauley, who some people may recognise if you're a Liverpool fan. He spent a great deal of time um, on the Liverpool back staff. About 19 years he was there, and then moved to uh, Stockport. And I'm bringing in uh, Barry Whitbread as a new scout there, because he's got quite good scouting. And uh, we could do with maybe another one to go and uh, scout some other regions for us. That's basically it for the uh, staff. Um, so now it's really just a case of going over the players. There's not much else to show you. Um, I can show you the uh, facilities. Uh, we've got good, it's basically good to average to adequate facilities, adequate youth, good training facilities, and average corporate, and an adequate junior coaching and above average youth recruitment, which means that we have got a bit of a chance of maybe bringing in some decent ish players. Uh, but still probably be looking to sound players at the moment. And now I'll just go to tactics and show you the team. And now this is uh, how I'm going to be setting the team out. This is the formation. It's just going to be a 4-4-2 uh, with um, 
uh, centre mids like that, but just a little bit. The uh, wingers are going to be more advanced and in a winging role. So that's how I'm going to look to uh, set the team up. I've also got an, uh, I have an, uh, what do you call it, alternative tactic, which is going to be a centre, a central uh, holding midfielder there. Just to show things up and I sacrifice a striker. That's just for when I'm on away games. Just to show things up. If it's going to be a tough match like a premiership team or a high up championship team away from home. that That's going to be the tactics I'm going to use. Basically the team is pretty much the same as when we started. Especially starting off. We've got Tom Heaton in the nets. At the minute it's Joseph Mills because uh, Lafferty is injured. And so is Ben Mee, so it's, I've got to go with uh, Mills here, but he won't be the first choice left back. Jason Shackle and Edgar at the moment at the centre back. Maybe Mills or um, maybe Ben Mee will come in there instead. But they're the two centre backs. Uh, Kieran Trippier is obviously going to be the right choice, right back, because he's you know one of the best right backs in the league. Uh, Dean Marnie and David Jones are going to be the first choice centre mids. Ross Wallace is the left winger. Michael Catley's the right winger. And then we're going to have a target man here, big uh, Sam Vox. And then uh, the goal getter, the more attacking striker, is Danny Ings, which uh, a lot of everybody will know his name by now. If you don't, you haven't been watching the championship because he's been banging goals in for fun with us. He's had two pretty hard seasons starting out through injury. And uh, additions I've made, uh, mostly all I've been able to afford really is backup. So I've only just brought backup players in, like uh, Hamer Buatza, who some of you at Blackpool, Millwall, Watford, you'll recognise him. I uh, brought him in just as cover for the uh, winging position. Uh, as a, an extra striker, I brought Rob Hulse in, who uh, was last at Q, I think he was last at QPR. Oh no, Millwall and Charlton actually, you know, so quite a while away, yeah, he went on loan to Charlton and QPR, and he wasn't really prolific his, his last season, but uh, he's still got good stats on this, and he's actually the second best striker, uh, according to the coaches, but I'm still using Vox because he's got the better potential, so I want him to have the most game time, he's just going to be the cover, and if he starts going really well, he's, he's going to be in the team. Uh, Junior Stanislas is providing cover for the winging positions as well. Another addition I made was uh, Willifred Bruma. He's another bit of uh, experience in the defence. Uh, he played for PSV and uh, Aston Villa most prominently. And he's a good experienced uh, player. Got a good head on his shoulders. So he's going to bring us a lot of experience. and Hopefully he'll provide good cover for the left back centre back uh, roles we've got. And the only player that I actually spent any money on was uh, Ryan Jack, who comes from Aberdeen. He's come through the youth team there. He's a, quite a promising player. Uh, right back at minute, it's saying he's a good championship right back, but he's got the potential to be a premiership right back in the future. So I brought him in. Basically, he's not gonna. nobody's going to really, unless I could sign a big money player, no one's going to uh, take Trippier out of his spot, but he's going to provide some good cover and gain some good experience with us. And that's about it. Daniel Lafferty there, he's going to be the probably the first choice left back because that's his most prominent position. Me can play as both, so I'll probably use him as a centre-back. Kevin Long's going to be uh, cover for the centre-back role as well. And Sizak's going to be the cover for our keeper. Brian Stock is going to be covered for the centre mid and probably our field is going to be covered for centre mid as well. He's a bit unhappy at the moment due to the players I've signed and he thinks there's too much competition for his places but he's just going to have to suck it up and uh, learn to deal with it because end of the day I'm not going to sell him. I can't really afford to get rid of any more players. The squad is really thin, you know, threadbare as it is. Because you could see this season could get destroyed by an, a couple of chase injuries and this season's probably going to be over for us. But I'll plot on with it anyway. And I'll just go through it. It's going to be a true one. I'm not going to cheat or anything like that. If this season crashes and burns, it, it crashes and burns. And Keith Tracy there as well, also at uh, the winging position. And there's another cover for striker. I've got uh, Ryan Noble, 
who actually just uh, this week he's actually left the club in real life. We just released him after uh, getting uh, Barnes from Brighton, uh, Ashley Barnes. So he's actually been released and he's already moved to uh, the dizzying heights of uh, the conference with Gateshead. So good luck to him in his career. Hopefully, you know, he has a bit of a career and he makes a bit of a resurgence. Probably he's going to be at the lower leagues, though. There must be some reason why, you know, he wasn't given a chance. But he didn't really get a chance with us. But uh, that's the team. That's the tactics. So if anyone wants anything a bit more in depth later on, I'll go into a bit more detail on what I'm doing and stuff like that. Mainly it's going to be the showing you the matches and just giving you a bit of an update on the major uh, storylines that are going on on this story. And uh, also, if uh, any of you are absolutely new to playing this game, I'm not by no means an expert, but um, I'll just give you the only bit of advice that I'll probably be able to give you that's useful is make sure that um, your players, uh, the formations, don't just uh, go rushing in there and playing whatever formation you want without looking at, uh, I'll just show you, the most valuable piece of information when you first look at your team is this down here. Look at the preferred position and the preferred role and how they like to play because play to those strengths and your team will play well. If you don't play to those strengths, you know, if you wanted this guy as a defender, you know, defending, it'd be no good. Same as, you know, Sam Vox trying to have him as a, as a pacey striker, it'd be no good. Having Ings, you know, as the burly target man, it ain't going to work. You need to play to your strengths. So that's probably the best bit of advice I can give you. Everyone I've got, both of our fullbacks are attacking, so I've just let them attack. Because the best thing you can do is play to strength. If you don't, you can see yourself, you know, time and time again, people play this game and they're getting beat by a lower league opposition. Teams are a lot worse than them, and that's why, because, you know, that lower league team is playing to their strengths. But uh, oh, it's just come on to the match a bit quick there. I was going to say this is a big one. This is why I wanted to record this one because it's a big derby. It's us against Bolton for the first match of the season. So I really want to win this. I don't want Bolton to have any bragging rights over us. So it's going to be a big one. I want the lads here to go out in full force. I think I forgot to do my... Uh, I didn't know it was going to come on straight away. I've lost my team top, but... Uh, Hey, that's how it goes. I think I'm gonna, you know, show the mistakes as well uh, when I fuck up. I don't want to really uh, have it too planned and you know cut out every little mistake that I make. You know, it makes it more fun. But anyway, here we go. I'll get underway and we'll just show you the match. Get right to it. So so far, it started off with uh, Bolton with the possession, and we've now got the ball. And it's Marnie passing it to Jones. We're passing it around there nicely. Marnie. Oh, and a shot, but Bogdan saved it. I think that was Mills. He likes having a cheeky long shot. I've noticed that in his game. He was doing that quite a bit pre-season. But that's one thing I forgot to show you, and I'll probably show you the next game. I'll show you um, how we did pre-season, but we did really well. We won all our games, but we never really faced anyone major. Oh, and Lee Chung Young. Almost scored there for Bolton. <sighs> My bum got hungry then for a second. It was munching on cloth then. I thought they'd actually scored. But uh, things are looking alright. It's steady enough. It's pretty end to end. Both had a chance. But hopefully we can carve something out. Oh, they had him covered there. But Ling Chong Young's through again. But Marnie's got in there. And Shackle there. We have a really important uh, clearance there. We were in real trouble. But uh, the minute I think they're overrunning us, maybe in midfield, we may have to pull a striker away, maybe if that continues. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because their formation is they've got two holding midfielders. Everything's in the centre. So I think what I'll do is I'll ex tell my team to uh, exploit the flanks and uh, try and go wide. On them hopefully they won't score uh, folks there using his size there to get out and he's got it well done he's got it away but that's pretty much all 
And our crossing game isn't working today. We did really well pre-season. I mean, we hammered all the teams we faced. Really, it was only Droylsden and uh, Barrow and two second division uh, Belgian teams, which I'll show you uh, later on. I'll show you the results. But they were all, uh, I think it was at least 5-0. We had two 5-0s, a 4-0 and a 7-0 victory. Uh, we had an unbeaten pre-season, but no one really to test us. Uh, so this is going to be the first time I get to see whether we do well against the championship opposition. And uh, Michael Cartley then almost sneaking in. And again, it's still really end-to-end. -end. And uh, Michael Cartley's had a knock. I think I find the, the best thing to do usually sometimes if you get a knock is let them run it off. Sometimes they seem to... Uh, recover more than if you take them off straight away they seem to put crop up with an injury if you do that so I try to leave them on for a little bit unless it forces them off through injury but at the moment we're holding our own against which is on paper it's a pretty good Bolton side really when you look on paper oh what a goal Kieran Trippier there with an amazing strike and we're in front the season started now and one of our major players for this season has just banged in an extraordinary goal there. Trippier with a brilliant volley. And things are going well at the minute. You know, I couldn't ask for more than this. We're beating our local rivals as well at home. This is going to be a brilliant start to the season. If we can pull it off real life, uh, it was a one all draw. And a pretty cagey match, to be honest. But uh, this time we're going great guns here. I think we actually came from behind, I think, in the first game. I can't really remember, actually. Uh, my mind's going there. Usually I'm pretty good with uh, what results we've had. I was actually there for that one. I'm looking to go to the away match. It's pretty soon as well. And I went last season. So... Which I didn't mind Bolton too much to be honest, even though they're meant to be local rivals until Coyle took over and then we had the whole rivalry started up again really. Oh, Mills going for a long range shot as well there. But I think we're going to go into the break now in the lead, which is a great job. I think we've done brilliantly well to win this game. Uh, it's good to try and get that home form after a good start. You know, if, if we don't win it away from home, we want to at least be trying to get the results. Oh, and it uh, goes offside there. I'm going to say this is a, a really bad time to be conceding. But he's hit the side net in there, Wita. And I think we're going to go into the break here in the lead. Which will be really good for our confidence. Yes, we've gone in. I've gone in there in the lead. I'll say I'm happy. They're not really responding too much. I'm not at a pre season, they're responding well, but um, I think they do well just to try and. Uh, That's really happened so far. I'll just keep it as it is for now because I don't want to let up on the attack too early because you can try and hold on to a game and you know you're on the back foot for too long and that is when you will concede. You know, and you get the odd adage sometimes people say oh, it's harder to score against a team when they're defending, when they're, especially when they're down to 10 men, but not if it's early on in a game. I think you find that the pressure does. Uh, Start grinding on you eventually, and you'll let a goal in. Oh, and Vox has got one in. It's Noddings. Who's uh, got off the flyer? It's Vox. The supporting role there, and he scored in a well-struck uh, effort there from close range. Just found that space, and he slotted it under Bogdan. But let's face it, he's not the best keeper in the world. I think they do better with uh, Lonergan, who's in the net now for them. But uh, this is going absolutely brilliant at the moment. If we can score Bolton, then I'm pretty sure we can beat most of the other teams in this league. Uh, now we just need to uh, keep our composure. Just keep passing it around like we're doing. 
Oh, and uh, Trippier there with another. Padre having shot. And uh, the wider play is coming in uh, to fruition. Like I said, they're playing very narrow. And we've got those fast, uh, wide players. So you might as well, you know, you play to your strengths. That's all I can tell you for this game. Whatever you're stronger at, use it. We've got, you know, good crosses of the ball, and that's what you need. And uh, Wallace has already shown that. Jones are having a shot. He has said he's been error prone. But um, he had a good shot there. Gave it a go. Maybe not enough power on it. In real life, David Jones has done well for us. I think I'll make a quick sub now. And uh, we'll take David Jones off and we'll put uh, Brian Stock on. As soon as he's having a bit of a... Uh, I'll tell this guy we believe he's what got what it takes. And Stock, I don't know, I'm a bit 50-50 on him uh, in real life. You know, he come in and he's meant to be this good uh, uh, player of the ball. Being able to make some good passes and dictate play, but I've not really seen that too much from him, to be honest. His reputation was definitely a lot better than what he actually is. But a David Jones is an actual quality player. He can whip the balls to the wings uh, brilliantly. And I know some of the Blackburn fans were uh, sad to see him go. They thought they should have signed him up uh, long, long term. And from what I'm seeing, it probably would have been a good idea. He's a good keeper of the ball, keeps the ball. Well for oh yeah, and Ings here going for a shot. Oh, and it was just a bit too long range there. Bogdan wasn't letting that one in. Oh, here we go though. We could have a goal with a goal, but uh, Heaton saved it. And Heaton has been another revelation for us this season. He's been one of the best keepers I think that we Burnley have signed in a long time. Uh, we're almost at the end of the game now. We're at that finishing line. And I think I'll just um, we'll stick Rob Hulse on, give him a few minutes. Hopefully, he might try and impress and uh, score. And uh, if any of the others are tired, let's just have a look at Cartley and Wallace. We'll take Wallace off, and we'll put uh, Junior Stanislas on. Give them both a team talk, and I'll say the same to Stanislas because he's got potential. To be a Premiership player, so I want to try and uh, give him some confidence, give him some games, and hopefully improve and become a big player for us. Um, I'll just say, show me what you got from him. Oh no, the wrong player there, I got that the wrong way around, but oh well. It may make him want to come out and take his chance. Because uh, Junior, he has been a bit of a, the backup player this season. But I do find him to be a bit uh, chalk and cheese. He can be really good. And he can be quite average at other times. Uh, but uh, he will always have a place in our heart though now after scoring against Blackburn though. So he sort of c c cemented that place in the Burnley fans' hearts. But uh, we've done it. And uh, we've won through with a good 2-0 win. It's better than so so far. I'm beating in the old Ginger Mourinho for the start we've had. And I've uh, beat Bolton. So I'll say, well done, that was a good win. Uh, they're just seeming big at it. They've not really said much about that. But uh, we've had a really good win there. And this should just show you there, we've had, uh, we had twice as many shots, three times as many on target. And we just shaded the possession and uh, we drew the fouls a little bit better than what they did. So all in all, it's a great start to this season. Um, if you guys like it, um, I'm going to be coming back with some more videos really soon. I just don't want to make the videos overly long. But uh, if you guys don't mind that, just say and uh, if you can just give me some feedback as well. I'm not going to beg for the likes, but uh, what I would like is uh, just feedback basically on the videos. If there's anything that I can improve on, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to make this a really good story that people can follow and get involved on. So hopefully you guys can do that and uh, just let me know where I'm going right, where I'm going wrong. And I can change that as the series goes on. And uh, get you guys involved as well. If you know any players that maybe I could take a look at or things like that, things you maybe want me to do or change, then I'm definitely going to take that on board. So we'll make it a bit of a group effort. I'll get you guys involved. Or don't just... 
on discussions. If you're all championship fans, tell me how you how you think your season's gone, how it's going at the moment. Like I've said, we can't have any complaints really at the moment. But uh, maybe you think uh, you should be doing better, or maybe you're happy like me. You you know you're happy as you can be with the team. But uh, yeah, just let me know and uh, get some good participation going on this uh, video. But uh, uh, for me, uh, Toasty Fresh, uh, that's all I've got for this time. But uh, be sure to catch me again next time. And uh, thank you for watching.